The cave was moist and dark and smelt of Zang's long dead. For most creatures in the spirit world, this was a place despised, cursed, and above all feared. You didn't, you did not enter this place. You did not go near it. Not for any cause or reason. And yet people came, not often, but enough to place the occupants of the cave. Someone had come again. The sound of their footsteps, dampering by some power. A force that excused the tremendous pressure. It was a force of age, sentience, and time. It was not good. It was not evil. It was beyond those sayings. The visitor approached and awaited the owner of that force, the one they should not see. They came and they had a face, one made of wide and beautiful gesture. Ko was pleased. <clears throat> the face stealer approached before his visitor, not in his usual rush, but slow, quiet. This one was fam different, familiar somehow. The face stealer wished to savor every bit of him. Welcome, stranger, Ko said, soothingly. He chose the face of the performer. It was the face he wore often. It was not his face, but it was old and well-worn and comfortable. The stranger was motionless. Ko smiled. This one would be enjoyable. He wore strange clothes. The vi this visitor, a large brown jacket, tight-fitting coat and pants, a necktie and strange boots made of red cloth and bleached white leather. He had thick brown hair that stuck out oddly, but most unique was his face. Not the sharp nose, long ears or mouth made expressions. No, no, those were sayings any face could possess. It was what laid hidden on the face, the secrets hidden inside, the hard set of his jaw, the deep lines on his brow, the eyes especially. Those dark brown eyes held a weight heavier than lead and larger than a mountain. Ko looked at those eyes and began to salivate. What brings you to... To me, Ko asked, you are not from here, not even from this planet. I'll bet what guidance would you see need of me? The man steadied himself. I've come in place of a friend. Oh? Ko raised himself in surprise. He switched his face to the companion. And who would that be? Aang, the man said flatly. Ko spun around down in a flash and changed to the blue demon. The Avatar, he said, his voice betraying his desire and anger. The visitor didn't as much as blink. Ko narrowed his eyes, but then pulled away. His face changed to sad old man. I see. I am so disappointed that my dear old friend would not come to visit me himself. He wanted to come. The man answered. I didn't let him. Ko smiled sly slyly. He was a cunning old woman when he asked. Why is that? The visitor eyed him. I had to see for myself, face stealer. 
There was a shift in his eyes, a hidden hard smile. Or should I say, Kunara na. Ko's face slid into a canvas, a blank slate. He had not used his face for many, many years. Not since the last time he had been in so shocked. The canvas stayed for half a second before it slipped into Serpent. Where did you hear that name? He asked, a bare blade edging in his tone. Oh, the man said carefully. You know, I've heard a little saying about you throughout the galaxy. Coase eyed him carefully. Is that so? Yes, the man continued. Amazing what goth gossip flies around out there. The face stealer tasted the air around the stranger and coiled back in surprise. By all the ages, why hadn't he recognized it sooner? No wonder this visitor had made his mouth water with hunger. I know you, traveler. He bared his fangs in a horrifying smile. I have tasted your kind before, Time Lord. The Time Lord gave no reaction to hit this truth. Ko continued to grin and coil around him. What luck I've had today that a face changer would willingly walk into my cave. After all those years, I did not think I would have the pleasure to feast on one of your kind again. I am the last of the Time Lords. The man said with a hint of something in his voice. Ko pulled back and slid into mourner. Is that so? I am truly sorry to hear that. Yes, the Time Lord said levelly. I don't doubt you are. Ko eyed him for a moment, studying his features and their hidden meaning. Abruptly, he lunged at him, flashing into a male ape and a screech at him. The Time Lord remained still. Ko twisted his face, changing into the performer, and laughed. <laughs> Have you come to kill me, Time Lord? No. Ko side eyed him. Are you sure? I don't go out looking to kill creatures. Ko laughed again. Harder and harsher, he turned like lightning onto him, becoming the white demon, and screamed, Liar! There was a shift in his voice, not enough to take him. With but Ko smiled inwardly soon. The Time Lord's face would be his. I know your race. The face stealer purred. The performer again. You are meddlers and interferers. You have your fingers in every pie and snoop where you are not wanted. He edged closer to the Time Lord's ears, and you love to play the hero. To rush down and save the four poor unfortunates from the scary bad monsters. <laughs> Ko laughed and watched the noise sink into the man with the town. But the Time Lords have their own monsters, don't they? He twisted his body obscurantly around him. Your mother told you stories about the Kanarans who delight in the taste of Time Lords. Did you cry when you heard these, those stories? Did you wet yourself thinking that one day you would we would come for you? <laughs> Khan laughed again, faced him, and saw the fear brimming in his eyes. Weep now, face changer, for I am Ko. Ko lunged at him, jaw gaped, empty, a face, and ready to steal a new one. But something happened that Konaran did not expect. The Time Lord whipped 
from his clothes a device and flashed it at him. The air around Coe's reverberated and disrupted his natural emitting force. Ko recoiled and screamed, his face cycling uncontrollably. The, uh, the reverberation finally stopped and he looked up, panting in pain and anger. The Time Lord looked down at the device in his hand and smiled. Sonic Screwdriver! He flipped it in his hand and smiled at Ko. Never leave home without one. Ko raised himself up. You! No, the Time Lord spat out. You listen to me. You think you know Gallifreyans? Well, you don't know me. I hold the secrets of time and space. I destroyed the Daleks and sent them back... What was left of them back to the Primordial Age. I wiped clean history and walked through its pages. I am the last of the Time Lords. And when my enemies hear my name, they do one thing. Run! He stepped up to Ko, realizing that he made a mistake. What he had seen in the man's eyes was not fear, but resolutions. Fear me, face stealer! Ko, the Time Lord, declared, I am the Doctor! Ko screamed and made one desperate strike at him. The Doctor stood his ground and met him with his weapon of choice. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, as you can hear now, I managed to get myself a new microphone, so my reading should be a lot better from now on. I hope you guys have an excellent day and enjoy your vacation week, and please, leave a like, subscribe, and whatever you desire, for you know what? I'm always here for you. Wolf Titan, 